right? Everything, everything, <laughs> nothing, nothing is the same. Everything has leveled up and grown and expanded. And so like since this year, I feel like um, I have been playing in all these different spaces. And I feel like uh, because I'm an my I'm, I've been an artist like that's kind of been my thing I've always been artistic and creative in that way and um, I I compare my evolution to that of an artist doing work Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Ascension Gateway. Today, I am super, super excited because I am talking to Andona Sanandu Kumara. Did I pronounce? And yes. Your... Yep. And we've, hello, hello, Andona. Thank you for hey. being here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be present. Yes. Thank you. And we've talked before. And so you've shifted quite a bit since we've talked. It's been what? only a year when in terms of shifts right <laughs> that's a yes. lot yeah i'm a completely different person now i think back to that those first interviews i think we did about two and two uh, years i was yeah. so i i was at a place where i was just really getting my feet wet in this space and mm -hmm. uh, kind of coming into myself a little bit and i just remember being so nervous uh, <laughs> back then nervous that I was going to get it wrong and so much has shifted since then because now I don't even get nervous anymore it's like my guides are always present they're like just show up be fully present you don't even have to plan or worry about what you're going to say because the words will come as you surrender um, to yes. the moment so yeah. yeah I love that yeah well you could have fooled me I didn't notice that you were nervous but <laughs> <laughs> you had it all together <laughs> <laughs> still do obviously and more but thank you for being here I, I can't wait to talk about uh your you know if you could share what you feel compelled to about your shift into uh taking your new name and Dona Sananda Kumara which Sananda Kumara is very um near and dear to my heart and uh I would love to hear your journey to to remembering yeah. that part it's, it's interesting how that goes. And um, I have to say that I was really taken and I was kind of excited because no one's ever asked me to explain how that came about. And um, let's say that I was my routine. OK, so if you see me turning, my guides speak and my mm -hmm. body responds automatically to that. Um, sure. So they're like in my ear right here. But um, as I part of my process is waking up every day to meditate. That's, that's my routine. I wake up and I start the day. Once I get the kids, you know, off to school and all of that stuff, I come back home and I sit and I just meditate, allow myself to be. And my, my process is meditate and then journal. And I journal via automatic writing. So one morning I was doing that. I've been doing that. That has been my process for at least the last um, now three, four years, since 2020. That's kind of been my routine, my process. And so somewhere in between then and now, I uh, was doing that. I was meditating and got my pen ready to automatic write. And when I automatic write, I just kind of let go and let the message be written to me. This particular morning, I wrote, your name is, and I wrote, Andona, and I wrote the name out and I was like, what do you mean my name is? I thought for the longest that they were showing me another life, like I had connected with another aspect of myself and I was kind of bringing that energy through. And they said, no, this is your name. And I said, what do you mean this is my name? No, my name is Angela. This is, <laughs> that is, that is not my name. And if I had to pick a name for myself, this wouldn't be it. Right. Like this, <laughs> this would not be the name that I would select. At least my identity self wouldn't wouldn't have picked that name. And so they went through and they said, no, this is your name. And they gave me an explanation. They broke the name down into um, segments. So it's a, an amalgamation of three different words coming together as one mm -hmm. uh, one complete word. And put together it's the portal 
through which awareness and knowing are called forth. So the first part of that is manifestation. So I'm one of those who has come to hold the energy of manifestation, to teach people how to manifest, to embody that ability to manifest, right? Great manifestation. And then the second part of that is called the calling forth of awareness and knowing. So that's, <laughs> I'm trying to see how to articulate. That's that's not necessarily knowing a thing, but being able to call it forth, being able to serve as that clear conduit when that energy is summoned forth. When you're speaking mm -hmm. to somebody, they ask a question, it's summoned. You don't even know where it came from. You just know it's summoned um, through you. And then the last part of that is the portal into the physical, nah. The um, the last syllable is that portal into manifestation. So combined is that portal, which we all are individual portals through which um, that awareness and knowing are called forth. Now the second part of those came after the fact because I I I I was not an easy pushover. I wasn't just accepting that as my <laughs> name like right out the bat, right? Because I'm thinking. My name is already Angela. It's already aligned with the angels. Come on now. Why would I have to take on a different name? Why Why is that even a thing? And they went on to say that I had shifted so much that my frequency was now aligned with this, this moniker, this name. So it was more than just a name. It's not just mm -hmm. a label. Mm -hmm. For me, With that, th at this point in my evolution, I've come to hold a higher frequency than I came in with, leveled up a little bit. And so there's a there's a, a label or a moniker which aligns with the frequency I now hold. So as I use this name, as I embody this name, as I see this name, will it kind of propel my trajectory forward into fully stepping into what I came here to do and embody? And so I, I had to test it because that's just me. I got I to gotta test that out. And so what I started to do was I started to speak it. So this is like many days after, after they've given me uh, this, mm -hmm. this, this information through the meditation. They said, as you see it, hear it, speak it, you will know. You will know. So I started to speak it and I would... I could feel this energy because I could already feel energy flowing through. I'm already being moved by the energy here and my guides and all these things. And as I'm as I speak it, I'm feeling this this charge coming up from within me as I speak my name, right? And then as I see it, it's like it's it's blowing my mind because it's almost like light codes, like the effect that it's having on myself. It's like I'm I'm feeling it in that way in a very visceral um way am i feeling that and then when somebody would speak it because it took me a long time to number one even share the name with somebody else but when i started to do that and people would speak that name it would something else would 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 come into play <laughs> something else would come into play i would shift and i would go into this different version of self right this different version of self and so I shared, I eventually, it took me a very long time to share that, <laughs> to share that name and to share that, what had happened, to even share the event with somebody else. I shared it with a friend and she said, oh, you know, that happened to me. And I was like, what? Really? <laughs> She's like, yeah, that happened to me. They gave me a name and I used it for a long time. And then it was like she shifted out of that name. At least that was her experience. So she said, mm -hmm. if your guides, if your guides have given you a name, she asked me first, she said, did it come from someone else? Like, did it come from a teacher bestowing this name upon you? Or was it given to you by your guidance? Did you get it from like within yourself? And I said, it came from my guides. Like I automatic, it was a message that they automatic wrote uh, to me. And she said, well, if they've given you a name, then you should use that name. Use that name, right? My guides had already said it. She kind of confirmed it. And so from that point on, I started to use the name. And when I really started to use the name, then really things really started to uh, to shift into a different place, shift into a different place. So, yeah. 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 So then the, wow. 
Sananda Kumara came. And so then I had to connect the dots on Sananda and Kumara. And so that took me down a rabbit hole of coming into awareness of Sanat Kumara and Sananda being the highest self of the Christ consciousness mm -hmm. uh, of, of Jesus, the one who was here on earth as as Jesus and um, connecting all of those dots. And so now I understand the fullness of the depth and breadth of what that moniker means. The Kumara is the oneness. It's the embodiment of the serpent energy being um, brought into union with the Ma and Ra, which is the um, the feminine and the masculine <laughs> principles brought together, right? That's the embodiment of oneness. And Sananda is the uh, Christ consciousness, that um, compassion, that that um, unconditional love, unconditional love, the embodiment of that. So combined, it's like the fullness of who I am and what, I, what I'm here to stand for, what I'm here to bring forth into um, this physical plane. I was like, that's, that's that's pretty awesome when you put it all together and really <laughs> understand um the meaning behind it because it fully aligns with what i've come here to do right nice wow i love that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's amazing and you know because i have my own experience with remembering my name yeah. and with with yashua and sanani kumara who i was working with 20 years ago during my quickening yeah and it was the same type of experience where it came to me in meditation and conversation and i was the same way i'm like oh, mm, um huh. <laughs> and that kind of thing like and what's interesting is that you the way you start your day is i start my days the same way where wow. Yeah. I meditate, I take care of my critters and everything like that, meditate and journal and I automatic write. And yeah, so, so we're obviously on that same, in, in that same stream, you know what I mean? Yeah. Of, yeah. of growing and remembering totally. And I, I love the way you described what the, your name means because yeah. when, when, and I always say, and I, I, mentioned this earlier before we started recording that uh i wasn't given this name i earned it <laughs> <laughs> it was not given to me i earned it i went through a pretty tough quickening or i should say intense and i don't i don't uh wish it on anyone but i needed it for whatever reason i needed it for it lots of reasons and so when i got that information that to um to bring in sanandu kumara as part of my name, Sharon Sanandu Kumara, I was always also getting that you need to keep repeating it and dive into it. So I would go outside and scream at the top of my lungs, I am Sharon Sanandu Kumara. <laughs> <laughs> scream at the top of my lungs. Just get up. And he and what I got was that he um he said that that name is in taken in frequency all the way to the Godhead. Mm. Yeah. 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 And also I love when you said what your name means to you or what what your name means mm -hmm. i also got what and people haven't asked me about my name just very few too yeah. so I'm, <laughs> I'm always curious because my because you know i uh, remembered my name mm -hmm. uh, especially sanana kumara you know of course that's that i got that sharon was a feminine sanana was a masculine kumara was the all the all mm -hmm. and that we embodied the all so that's Nice. super close to um nice. to what you you were getting and uh yeah it's so cool i love that and you can yeah. feel the shift too when you use when you use the name you can feel that shift in using your old you know another name or old name and using your new name right right yeah you know and i said um as i've taken it on as i've gotten as i've settled into using <laughs> the name um what i realize is that that's that's the embodiment of us now, right? But there are people, um, say family members, like for my, for example, my husband, for instance, he'll always know me as Angela, right? Yeah. And I realized that being a role, it's somewhere along those lines that you get into, you step into realization that you are here 
playing a role, but there's a bigger purpose for which you have come. And so after I took the name on and I really settled into it, there was like this integration process where I'm having to not necessarily play in both worlds, but bring both worlds together, realizing myself as this, as this higher um, aspect, this ascended aspect, while at the same time still embodying this role that I've come to play within this uh, physical experience. So it's been a, it's been a, um, it's been a process. One, one thing I asked my guidance though, when they get, when they dropped that name on me, I was like, now, do I have to change my name? Like legally, should I change my name and all these different things? I've gone through all these different things. And they said, well, no, because there, there is a group for whom you will always be. And mm -hmm. that, that role is not invalidated by the bestowing of this, this name that you've stepped into, right? It's just right. an addition to, this is part of your multidimensional um, beingness. This, this is you walking in, embodying um, that aspect of yourself uh, within the physical, so. I love that. I love that because yeah. I would use my, I mean, I'm Sharon is my given name. Um, and uh, in this life, on my birth certificate, and so uh, I was—I mean, I'd, I'd use that anyway. But but I would use my name that my stepfather's name that when he adopted us in in my corporate world. Still, yeah. I didn't <laughs> I didn't change it there. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, that was something that um, I could have, I guess. But I but I understand that completely. Is that we have these different roles that we play, right? Yeah. In our life and in our world and so um it's okay to honor that and i hear that yeah. from yashua from sananda all the time it's so it's okay to honor where we were yeah. at certain times of our life and we have to actually yeah. and yeah yeah it's, it's part of it's, it's part of being um human and it's right. really really it's just part of us stepping into that um greater knowing of who we are right? The multidimensionality of, of us. Yeah. Yeah. So you channel, you still um, channel light language, right? You're still, or mm -hmm. has that shifted your channeling everything abilities as well? Everything, year. right? Everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing is the same. Everything has leveled up and grown and expanded. And so like, since this year, I feel like um, I have been playing in all these different spaces and I feel like uh, because I'm a my I'm, I've been an artist, like that's kind of been my thing. I've always been artistic and creative in that way, and um, I I compare my evolution to that of an artist doing work <clears throat> because when an artist gets new new paints, you have to test those paints out and see how they play with other paints. So you, mm -hmm. you work with that paint by itself. You feel the different textures. You see the, the vibrancy of the color. You're testing out all the different aspects of how that paint works. Well, an artist doesn't just have one paint. They have many paints in their, in their collection, right? So you got to see how all those different paints play together, how they play separately and together, right? I feel like I've um, evolved and I've brought forth many different things. So one of the things that I've start, I started out doing was creating videos and those videos have expanded. Like the, the different ways that I play within that medium have expanded and changed. And I've created many shows. <laughs> like I, I, yes. I spent up all these different shows and done all these different things. And now since the beginning of the year, I feel like I'm bringing all those together into one cohesive thing, right? I've, mm -hmm. I've had all these separate things and now I'm finding ways to bring all of those together because now we're getting more focused with the body of work that we've come here to do. Now I have more clarity and vision toward what it is we're here to do, but not just what we're here to do, but how we're here to do it, how we're here to package it and bring it such that people might be able to um, accept it and uh, connect with it in a way that serves um, that serves them. So now I just feel like I'm in a space where I'm definitely more comfortable in who I am and the embodiment that we hold, but really now getting clear on how we're here to move um, move within the space and anchor the new, which will serve as a foundation upon which others that come after us will build. So it's like we are laying, um, laying a foundation of 
new work. So that is connected with people from the heart space, really connecting with people from the heart space. Everything I do is about bringing you back into remembrance, back into connectedness with that heart, because it's the heart that connects us to all that is, that is that portal space. So bringing mm -hmm. us back into alignment with that space and working with energies and frequencies, light codes as a way of bringing people um, back into that remembrance, back into that remembrance. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. So you, uh, you have a YouTube channel, correct? I do. I do. Okay. Okay. Is this where you're offering your, your work that you're talking about? Or is there some? Yeah. Other? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Every, okay. Everything is offered there. And then now I have a uh, website in the works because I haven't had a website in the works. So now I'm getting a website in the work. I have a book in the works. Wow. Good a, you. a body body of work in the works. Everything <laughs> is in the works. Everything is flowing back to this, like, like a central point is what I see. Everything is flowing back into one cohesive, um, package now so nice yeah, yeah th things just open up right when you yeah. step into your your true frequency of uh, yeah. alignment when you step into alignment yeah. yeah i know it's exciting good for you congratulations yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's great, but it's been a process. So it's not so easy. It's not so cut and dry. Like once you accept it, you walk into it. No, it's a whole it's a whole process of integrating all of those um things, unpacking what you thought it had to be. Mm -hmm. You know, you, the, oh, the totally. preconceived notions of all of that. You have to be willing to let all of that go and be laid fully bare and really just surrender to um to the to the moment. Get out of the present. I mean, get out of the past, get right. out of the future and worrying about the future and allow yourself to be fully here, connected to the present moment. And what I found in that space is that's where the magic happens. That's when you get get clear and get direction on what it is that you want to do and how how you as a team, the team that is you, desires to bring those things um, forward. You can fully hear within the present moment. You can fully receive and perceive everything that you that that's in alignment with the soul self you can hear those things um from the from the present moment yeah yeah i love that that's really good advice and i it took me a while myself to <laughs> to learn how or remember how to surrender and yeah because uh, yeah, things were just like i mean i wanted so much i i had all these visions about what i wanted to do all these all you know create and things just kept getting in the way it seemed like mm -hmm. and i remember uh and i'd say when am i going to get there when am i going to get there when am i going to get there and i heard saint germain's voice in my ear one time when i was saying that in my mind like there is a there you know <laughs> and he said don't be so quick to to dismiss the journey because the journey is the destination 